to be one. Well, hi and welcome everybody to this, The Secrets of Google Hangouts. I'm going to, in the next 30 minutes, share with you some of the things that I've picked up over the last year and a half on how to run successful Hangouts. And we are going to look at things like screen sharing. We'll be looking at all the tools inside the Hangout. Welcome, Simon, live on air. Make, make sure you're muted. Um, we'll have an opportunity for you in a little while to ask me questions. But to begin with, let me just give you a short presentation about why Google Hangouts. So, without further ado, who's using them? Some very, 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 very famous people are using Google Hangouts, not least Barack Obama. Not least the princes Harry and William, they had a live Google Hangout from Buckingham Palace recently. It was wonderful. Dalai Lama. Now, I should have a, a screenshot here of Pope Francis, because he did a Google Hangout as well, which had me in a flood of tears. It was so emotional. Um, this Hangout is a screenshot from one I did recently for the Nature Conservancy, and we had over 100,000 people subscribed to this. And a beautiful scientist from Africa talked about his life uh, working in, in the Nature Conservancy, and that was really interesting. But of course, the stars of that Hangout show were, in fact, the children from Bryan Middle School in Illinois who joined in and were part of that show. So it's, it's quite incredible, the options, the opportunities to broadcast using Google Hangouts. And here's another one. This happened just last week. One of my clients, we work together. She is the president of the American Dental Hygienist Association. And that's just a great still from the Hangout show. <laughs> she, it was really aimed at young children to show them how to look after their teeth. And that fantastic model just about said it all. <laughs> and um, who else? Well, this is a, a shot of me. I've got my own pre-loved Chica show that goes live on Saturdays, and that's been running since January. Just goes to show that it's possible to have your own TV show with very limited equipment. This young man, this is my last slide in the series for a little while, He's, um, he actually had something called a hangathon, which was 10 days of hangouts, one after the other, where he was talking about this accelerator program. And at the end of it, he sold lots of copies. And it was very interesting. It was like intensive training, 10 days of intensive training. And at the end, people just bought. It, he wasn't one of my clients, but uh, I, I followed closely this t innovative type of hangout. So there we are. Um, the checklist for what you need, we'll come back to that. But first of all, let me welcome my guests. Anne Hawkins. Hello, hello. Say hi. It's lovely to have you here. And Simon, Simon Hagen, would you like to say hi? Hello there. Very, very good. It's really lovely to have um, both of you here. And this is going to be something where at the end of our time together, you'll have things that you can take away so that you can put them into practice. Now, I don't really need to go over what you need to have a successful Hangout in those terms because you're both inside the Hangout, so you've got your webcam, potentially you're using a microphone. It's not always necessary to have a headset and a microphone, but sometimes that will prevent feedback, which can be a nightmare. A Google account. Chrome, I always recommend using Chrome as your browser. And of course, a really top, not top of the range webcam. I use a Logitech C90, which gives high definition images. And you know, it's about 40, 50 pounds. It's very, very affordable. So Anne, what kind of camera have you got there? I'm just using the webcam on my laptop. Well, that's good. Yours looks really clear too. What about you, Simon? Um, I can't. This is it's just it's just called a HD camera. It's on a it's a very fancy 
one on a, on a bendy stick that I got for the kids all, a year or so ago, but they don't use it. So ah, it's quite well, good. I'm going to say it's good, yeah. I mean, I imagine you're going to have all the equipment under the sun for you know, video work. <laughs> anyway, so those are the things that you need uh, and the equipment that you need. But now we are inside the Hangout. We are inside the Hangout now. There's three of us. We can have up to nine people sharing this space. But of course, hundreds and hundreds of people can be watching. And what I'd like to do for, for you two is to just talk to you about all the tools available inside the Hangout. So first of all, I'm going to do them one at a time. I'm going to go over to the left-hand side. And if you do this, if you wiggle your mouse, and over on the left-hand side, you'll see that the tools have appeared. And we'll start at the top. Simon, have you got tools? I'm sure. Uh, yes, yeah, yes, I noticed that before, actually. Yeah, OK. So, Anne, you're, you're a bit of a pro, because I know you've got your lower third, but maybe you don't know about all of the tools. So I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to work my way down. So the first tool that's available is called chat. So we've got lots and lots of people inside the hand. You never communicate privately about if things are going well or if you perhaps want to adjust certain things and that's what we can do. So I'm just going to chat and say hi to you um, and you should see that. So do reply back. Let's get a little chat conversation going. Of course the audience, the people who are watching this right now, are not going to see it. Hi Simon, that's very good. Do you want to put a little comment in there so that we can see you found the chat as well? I know that when I do my live hangouts for the Nature Conservancy, there's a lot of conversation going back and forth. Uh, for example, looking at the camera, you know, make sure you get this video lined up, you know, all those kinds of things that can go on behind the scenes. So it's really, really useful. Okay, so the next one is a green arrow. Now, this green arrow is the screen share. And I know, Anne, you are particularly interested in that. So what happens when I click the green arrow, it enables me to share my screen with you. So whatever I've got on my screen comes up now in full view for everyone to see. So that happens to be a slide, which is a slide inside Google um, presentation. So it's, it's much, much better if you're going to do a presentation, not to use PowerPoint, but to use Google Slides. That's definitely a tip. And then can I can I ask a question, or would you like me to wait to the end? Of course you can. Of course you can. Go um, you say this is on your screen. Is it filling your? Well, it can't be filling your screen, presumably, because you've got the Hangout on. So is it in a in a window on your screen? Now that is a really really important question. I couldn't have planted that question. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, basically, what happens in a Hangout? The person who starts the Hangout, the presenter, which is me controls what people see who are watching. And I know we've got a viewer at the moment, only one viewer, but still, you know, somebody is watching us live right now. Yeah. Um, so um, I control what the viewer sees by what we call pinning to the main big screen, the window. So at the moment, I'm pinned to the screen. And if I share my screen, that is shown. If I take the pinning off, in other words, if I click and there's no longer a white box around my image, whenever somebody talks, they're showing on the screen. So if you chat now, Simon. OK, hello, I'm chatting. You're chatting and you are now filling yeah. the screen. Uh, so I'm, not I'm not on my screen, or am I filling your screen? On the presenter's screen. Oh, I see, yeah. It's all about the presenter. When you watch, but when you speak, Simon, you're filling my screen. Your your face ah, is. As are up. you, as are you, Anne. Okay, uh, so you don't fill your own screen with your own face, just other, this other is, people. This, this is the conf this can be quite confusing to people who are new to Hangouts. So the presenter controls what goes up live, but each individual, Simon, Anne, you can control what you see. So if you wanted to have me on the screen all the time. Click my image now. 
and I will appear on the screen all the time. And there's a white frame around my picture, and I'm always on the screen. Yeah. So each individual can control what's happening. Uh, but if you take the, the pinning off, it just does what we call auto pinning, which goes all over the place. And um, there's a good reason for that, but sometimes it can be uh, a nightmare if people are coughing or slurping coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do it quietly, is it? Yeah, no, you, 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 <laughs> you know, I didn't pick up the slip, I just made a, <laughs> just for example. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> so, I, I'm going to go back to pinning now, so I will pin my, myself, so that the viewers can see what I'm sharing. So, as I said, Anne, you click the little right uh, green screen share, and you choose which screen to share, and now you can see I'm sharing all the checklist for a successful um, hangout. And then when I decide enough of that, I just click the green arrow again. And sometimes I will share videos for clients. Now I'm going to say be very cautious when you share videos inside a hangout because what happens is Google bots will trawl over those videos and if there's any infringement and copyright, that video could be removed. If it's your own video, then that's okay. But you know, you do have to be a bit careful sharing when you wouldn't share other people's comments. You could do it if it was private. If we were not broadcasting live, which we are, um, you could do it. Now, how would you do that, Ellen? Would you would you have to set the video up before you start the hangout and um, and have it on another screen? Or yeah. on, another, on another tab. Yeah, let me let me show you. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that now, um, so that you can see what I'm talking about. I've lined this up to talk to you about some of the um, things I'm offering in terms of VIP days. But I'm gonna show you this. It actually looks exactly like what we've got live at the moment. But give you the idea. Are you using two screens? Yes, I am. Ah, okay. I am. So there we are. You can see that. I would probably have set it all up. Hi, this is Elaine Marsden, Hangouts for Business. Thanks so much for watching. I am so excited about this new VIP day that I'm offering my customer. So I would set it up so that, in fact, um, it filled the screen. Um, I would probably, uh, that, that was streamed from a, a web page. I would probably use QuickTime and use some controls to make sure it filled the screen. But yes, I, I think if you're going to do this successfully, you do need to have a second screen. Otherwise, it's difficult. Sometimes you get, I don't know if you've seen this infinity loop. Mm. Like, have you seen that, Anne? Yes. <laughs> That's why I was asking the question. Yeah, that is, that is, that is the thing. I mean, everybody should really have two screens anyway. It, it's not a luxury. Just to compare one thing to another, it's it's a wonderful way. And it's not particularly expensive, really, to do it. Um, how many screens do you have, Simon, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, I, ha I have two quite large screens for uh, video editing. So it could be pretty crucial for that, really. Yes. You talk to some IT people, and then they start to go, you know, start to say, well, I couldn't imagine life without four screens. <laughs> yeah. People who buy stocks and shares, they like those, don't they? Big panels of screens. Yes, yeah, I'm happy with my two screens. So I, I suppose you could, uh, as a second screen, you could use an iPad or something like that. You don't necessarily need another, uh, another full screen, presumably. Well, it depends. Are you talking about videos? Because uh, if you're talking about showing videos, you have to be a bit careful because of the sound looping. Right, okay. If it was just that you were just sharing images, then yes. But you mm. you, know, you can imagine, though, having to manipulate the iPad and the computer. It's quite easy when it's all in, in on one device, so to speak. Yeah, presumably, presumably you, you need the two screens running from the same device, don't you, really? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and the fact that they're both plugged into the graphics card of the computer. Otherwise, there's nothing to relate them to each other. Because it's just another screen on another yes. setup. 
I guess though, the other thing that you could do is um, you could have somebody else sharing the images and working for you to line it up. In fact, that's what right, I thought. Okay. Yeah. See, they don't see me. I'm behind the scenes. I just press the buttons um, when I, I'm queued in to run videos and images. So you would be doing that from another computer altogether, like a controlling computer? I do that from here um, because I'm not actually on screen. I'm not talking on screen. I'm just the um, person who lines up all the images yeah. and queues up the video. So. I would be hidden, so I do it from here. I do it from here. So I mean, I, I would be like this right now. So um, hide myself from the presentation. So let's have a look. Hide. For a few seconds there, I was hidden from the broadcast, so you yeah. didn't see me. I bet you were worried. I was a bit worried. <laughs> I was a bit worried. I thought, am I going to come back and be here? <laughs> Don't normally do that. Uh, anyway, so that is screen sharing, and you know, it, it is it is a, a key part of it for me, and for to be able to share what's on the screen. Do stop. If there's any questions, just do stop me. Now, when we um, take a look at the next couple of apps, as they're called, the Showcase app and the Q&A app. I'm not going to be able to demonstrate those on this Hangout because I didn't set them up in advance. But I'll just tell you a little bit about them. The um, Showcase app is great. In fact, when I watched Interstellar, the movie Hangout, on the right-hand side, they were showing options to click to go and buy your tickets to watch the movie. So in other words, it's a place to sell your product. So Anne, I think that would really work for you if you were trying to direct people to go and buy your book. Mm. That would work. You could have, you know, I guess you're selling it on a website, you might be selling it on Amazon, you, you could have, you know, an, an image and a link and then people would actually click and within the hangout could go off and buy what you're talking about. So that's the Showcase app. The Q&A app, the next one down, is really useful for letting people be part of the conversation. So I am going to see if I can actually find, let's just see if I can find uh, a video to that. Yeah. Um, and that, that, that's coming up as disabled on my computer. Is that, is that because you've set that to be a, the feature of this Hangout? That's right. I, I didn't enable it at all. Yeah, okay. Um, and um, let's just see. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show that to you. But basically, on YouTube, you if, you're watch, if somebody was watching this on YouTube right now, and I'd enabled the Q&A app, they could click the Be Part of the Conversation button, and on the right-hand side would be an opportunity for them to ask me questions. And I could say, ah, oh, look, there's John um, you know, from New Mexico, and he's got a question about running videos inside a Hangout. This is how you do it. And I would say that I'd answered that question. So people, later on, could go back through the video and go to the bit in the video where I answer that question. And um, it does work very, very well. You know, we used that with the dental hygienist lady recently, and we had hundreds and hundreds of questions coming in from schools around America about how to look after your teeth. <laughs> that was using the Q&A app. So there we are. That's those two. They they do a little bit tricky to use, but they they do they do do the job. Do the job. The next one is really well. Why would you use it? It's the capture. If you wanted to take a picture of the hangout, let's do it. Right. So smile. One, two, three. <laughs> there we are. I've taken a picture there. Uh, oh, we lost you, Simon. You seem to have disappeared. Um, I don't know. It just happened. There, I'm back again. Back again. It just happened when you pressed 
capture. That is interesting. That is why I don't use it. I have heard that when you use that app, it sometimes kicks you out the hangout. <laughs> I've never had experience of that. Isn't that that's never happened? I've heard other people talk about that, but you are. Mm. But that happens. Mm. <laughs> so I would say, unless you really are desperate to do it, don't do it when it's live. I and did Anne just take a picture then? I think is that I came I, up. Anne, have you taken a picture? No. Do you want to? No, I was I was actually uh, clicking on the one that you took. Can so, you see the one I took? Oh, oh, perhaps I did actually. I've I have a picture here. Oh um, right, yeah, it came up saying that you were taking a picture. Ah, okay. So I yes, I've taken one of you then, Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I wasn't pulling a face. <laughs> it's no, no, actually. <laughs> it's interesting because I can I can I can just see my picture that I've taken at the bottom of the um, hangout. So anyway, I think we've got a word of a bit cautious about that one, that app. Um, then um, the next one is the cameraman app. So you may or may not be able to click to bring that up on the right hand side, but if you can, what that enables you to do is to decide when you've got lots of people joining the Hangout, maybe up to nine people, you can mute people's audio. Because, you know, if you're live and broadcasting, lots of people jump in and making a lot of noise, you know, you don't want to have to work out how to mute them, so you just mute everyone as they join. I think that's only available to the presenter, isn't it, Ellen? Yeah. I believe so. I think that you, you haven't got that available. So I'll just talk you through what's there. But can you actually see it yes. on the left? So you can see the potential for it, but the control is with, with me. Um, so the other thing as well, some people don't want all the people in the film strip. Well, the film strip is, is the string of people, icon, avatars of people showing at the bottom. And some people don't want that visible. I've accepted that, so that will be visible today, but some people just don't want that. So they want the interaction, but they don't want the people to be visible. So there's quite a few options there for the cameraman. And then the other one, the other one, that's interesting. I can see what you've added, Simon Hagen. <laughs> yes, I can just ah, see that ah, too. Ah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't dare move in case I do something. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll have to have a little bit of fun with that because it is. Oh, I see what it is. Okay. I just pressed Google Effects. That would be your next one. You were about to. I w yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I put a crown on you, Ellen? Oh uh, yeah, you've got the crown. It's so it's on you. It's on me. Oh, I see. Yeah. I I think um I think I I, I have to have the tiara. If you don't mind. Oh, that's <laughs> And maybe you might want the halo. <laughs> <laughs> so, to be honest, to be honest, I don't normally t t talk, do this. I don't normally think this. Up. <laughs> Imagine why. <laughs> you think house for business people? Well, <laughs> anyway, so let's just get rid of that now. Okay, so Oh, hey ho, and a bottle of rum, you're actually on yeah. a desert island now. Do you agree? Trying to, I am trying to turn it off, honestly. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> uh, you remove all effects. Remove all effects. Mm. Come back, Simon. Come back from your desert island. Okay, so I'm going to go. Where's the effects button? Here you go, effects. So you click effects, and then. Oh, there, I see, I see, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was rather really becoming, though. It was rather becoming. For a minute there, I was transformed to Desert Island Discs. I was almost going to ask you what your favourite <laughs> I won't. Be. I won't do the pirate accent now. <laughs> I'll save that for Talk Like a Pirate Day. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I'm rubbish at accents. Uh, okay, then. So the, the next one, now again, you might not have this enabled, but there's something called the Comment Tracker. Double green bubble. Can you see that? Now, what, how that works is that um, it enables you to pull in comments from various different places. From, for example, YouTube. If people have added a comment on YouTube, 
from Twitter if you're searching for a hashtag and you've given a hashtag for your show and from Google Events. So let me just show you what that looks like right now. So I've actually put a comment on um, earlier on, one I prepared earlier for you. So I add, added this comment to YouTube. Looking forward to spending time with you today, sharing some secrets to running a successful Google Hangout. Not too late to join me. So uh, that's good because that involves your audience, brings them up onto the screen so they can feel part of it. And you know, some of the best Hangouts that I've been on, there's a lot of interaction going on, and people you know do like to see their comments up on the screen. So, Again, that is another app that can be a little bit temperamental, but worth it. <laughs> Definitely worth it. Helen, is there is there a place to go to sort of see what Hangouts are on? Is there a sort of central, you know, Hangout central kind of? Interesting. I think there will be soon. Uh, one American chap called Mark Adel used to keep a catalogue and. Um, have a website for all the Hangouts that were coming up, but he was doing that himself, um, and it was a lot to manage, uh, mm. but he was doing that, and I think that's lacking at the moment, but you can go to your Google Plus account, and if you are connected with various different people, you can see what Hangouts are coming up. So in fact, I will just if I can get that to come up on the screen, because I think that could be quite useful for you to see. So let me just share my screen with you again. And what you can see now, <laughs> this is the event on Google, um, the live event. But I'm just going to come down and show you events and up and coming events. Let me just pin this. So you can see that's the one that I'm doing today. And these are some of the other Hangouts that are taking place that I am connected with these various different people, um, all kinds of different ones. If you're interested in looking at what Tesco's do with Hangouts, wonderful. Their Hangouts are amazing. They work with children as well, and they're, oh, they're just stunning and very educational. So yeah, um, and then there's all the past events as well that... Um, and there's mine, my pre-loved Chica show on Saturday. Um, so yes, uh, I would definitely um, recommend um, that you go and take a look at other people's hangouts because that's the way, in, in many ways, that's, that's the way to learn how to do this, this stuff. And is, it, is the way that it works, you just simply turn up like we did for this one? You don't, you don't, uh, yeah, definitely. That's all you need to do. Uh, well, you, you wouldn't be able to be inside it. I've given you a special invite to come in. Um, right, and that, but you, you know, you'd be able to view. Be able to oh, view okay. I, I see what you mean. Okay, so you're watching it like a program on TV, really, then, yeah. yeah. Um, I, well, I've, I've, sorry, can I ask you one other question? I notice from time to time, uh, well, I'm not seeing me, but I think we were talking about this earlier. So Anne every now and again becomes full screen, with a, but she's not necessarily saying anything. Is that because it's it's triggered by sound when someone speaks? Absolutely. That's the auto pinning. So if Anne shuffles or claps, <laughs> then she'll pop up on the screen. Okay. Thank you. Except for now when Ellen has pinned herself to the screen. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah. I mean, I, because I, I'm keen, I, I know what I want people to see, so I'm in charge of that. But it's just as the presenter. And you can do your own pinning or not, as the case may be, if you're quietly for it to switch back and forth. OK, so we're getting, we're getting in there now. I'm just going to show you my final app, which is absolutely brilliant. Really, very, very brilliant. So I'm going to show Anne on the main screen as an example. Anne, you're on the main screen now. As you can see, Anne has got her name, her um, logo, her well, her image, and inspiring entrepreneurs, which is her passion, what she loves doing. 
<laughs> and she does that very, very well. So that's called the lower third. Now, I'm going to pin myself now to the screen. I'm not using a lower third. I'm using what we call an overlay. So you can choose which way you go. Uh, but whatever one you choose, the way to do it is to use the Hangout Toolbox. So if you click the Hangout Toolbox now on the left, the Hangout Toolbox will appear on the right. And basically, the options are, first of all, there's a little man in a circle. That's the one that you need to be on, because that's where you can create your lower third. And you've got the options of putting your name in, your tagline. Let me bring up my one of my lower thirds instead of my overlay. There you go. Elaine Marston, hangoutsforbusiness.com. I'm using a lower third now instead of an overlay. But I quite like the overlays. Have you ever used those, Anne? No, no. How do you get one of those? Okay. So what you would do, we're moving down from um, the lower third section. Oh, I see it, yeah. To custom overlay. Now, the secret with a custom overlay is that it needs to be a PNG file so that most of it is transparent yeah. and all, all that appears is my picture but in the bottom right-hand corner, my logo and my name. Okay. Now, one of my ninja tricks is certainly before I go live, when people are joining me, I don't want them to see me brushing my hair or whatever I'm doing. <laughs> so I will put up a custom overlay. I'm just going to find one that might be of interest. So we'll just hold on one minute. I'm just going to find one. OK, let's just see. Oh, I'll use that one. No, I'll use that one. Sorry, I should have one standing by. I'm just going to go and pre love Chica. Let's do that. Let's get my, my teapot one up. <laughs> there you go. So that is an image that is actually filling the whole screen. So I will have an image like that right at the very beginning before the show goes live. And then it's just a holding image, if you like. And it could be anything. You could have anything you want there. So, that's, that's that. Any questions about that? So, do you have to have specific sizes? You know, the one at the bottom that, that's showing now is obviously a different to, to the one that's on the whole screen. Yes. Do you know, I haven't got the sizes on the top of my head. Yes, is a, a preferred size. I'll see if I can find that. Uh, uh, don't, don't, don't worry, I'll just Google it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't got it with me, but it's there somewhere. Just you'll, you'll be able to find that out. Okay. The other thing to say is that sometimes you can have a very bizarre situation with your lower third mirroring. Um, does that look back to front to you right now? Maybe no. it doesn't. But sometimes it can look back to front to you. So where it says lower third, mirror local image. There's a little, a little button there. So you definitely need to click that to make sure you're seeing it properly. And there's only other, one other thing that I will say that's useful inside this Hangout toolbox that I use. And that is coming all the way over to the right-hand side. And you can see the little cog, which gives you the option to change some of the settings. Oh, very nice, Simon. Let me just get you in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <possible> problem. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Definitely Simon Hagen in training. <laughs> anyway. How do I get that? Well, I'm sure I can work out how to make it smaller. Yes, you, you, you're going to have to play around with the size, yeah. the image, etc. Get it in the right position. But at least you've, you know, it looks like you've got. No, you're not using PNG, are you? Because no, that's a, a JPEG. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely work to be done on that. Um, so going back to <clears throat> my final thing I wanted to share with you, which is the little cog on the right hand side. Can you see that, Anne? Where it says yeah. setting. Yeah. And there's an option there to say 
auto load last used lower. That saves you having to find it each time because sometimes mm. it drops. So I have that turned on. Yeah, uh, mine's on too. Yeah. Uh, good. And then enable auto load too. So have those on. And um, sometimes they may not be on by default. So that's good that we've got those on. Excellent. Now, have we got any questions about any of those tools that I've shared with you inside the Hangout? And, and is there a way that you, I mean, obviously we're in a Hangout, hangout now and that we can see ourselves on screen, mm -hmm. but it would, obviously, it would work better if privately I could play around and put, you know, the lower third over without being in a hangout. Is that is that actually physically possible or yes. you know what I mean? Yes, yeah. I mean you could do that. You could um, set up your own private hangouts, you know, just hang out with yourself. The number <laughs> of times I've done that is a bit sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely definitely I'll learn how to do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well that yeah, you'd need to do that from time to time though, wouldn't you, yeah. to get on top of it, yeah. Yeah, it's really easy to do that. Yeah. And also, just before you joined us when we were live, you joined us when we were live. What I do with my customers um, is that we will be in the green room, you know, 20, 30 minutes, sometimes an hour before we go live, checking everything. Right. When, when, when you're the presenter, Sam, and you get the, a, a big green button that says start broadcast, okay. and up until then, everything in the hangout. Is press, so we could all just talk to each other very casually, and then you press, you know, start the broadcast, and that's when it goes live and is right. broadcast on onto Google Plus and YouTube. Okay. Yeah. So that that's the bit that's recorded. Yeah, I mean, and after once once I've stopped the broadcast, which I'm going to do in a little while, we can just stay on and um, chat for a little bit longer. Um, so you know, there's time at the beginning. So the, broadcast broadcast the broadcast is, is, is publicly available to anyone who chooses to watch it. If, yeah. so you have to set well, that up. We've got a viewer already. Somebody stayed on for the whole duration. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, hope, I, hope, I hope they're enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah, thank, thank you, viewer. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So, um, really, basically, I'm just going to sum up now because. Um, what I want to do is to talk about some of the things that you can do to take this to the next level. So let me just get my presentation back on the screen and then we will take a look at that. Uh, I've got a couple more slides, scrolling, scrolling down. Um, hold on one little tick. Um, we're live. So, <laughs> so present. There we are. Hopefully you can see that now. So as I said to you, this is all about people, whoever you are, whether you've got ambitions to be ultra famous or whether you're a business owner that just wants a way of getting your message across or you want to create some training, hangouts. There's so many different applications, as I said, but you don't need expensive equipment to have your own online TV show. Uh, most of it is free. But you might feel that you want to perhaps have some training. And what I'm offering, anyone that's listening today, is my Google Hangouts training course. We've got some training taking place in May. The next training is in May. And um, that will be an opportunity for you to spend four hours with me. We do it so that there's two hour chunks of training, then there's an opportunity for you to go away and do your homework, and then we come back and we do two more hours. So it's very practical and it's hands on, and it's an opportunity for you to really feel the technology from the inside, if you like. So yes, Google Hangouts training available from me. Do sign up if you're interested. But for some of you, you might prefer more hands-on, one-to-one VIP training where you spend the day with me. And I have got a whole series of one-day VIP events coming up. So if that's something that you prefer, where we work together side by side 
in face to face or it could be online. And at the end of that time, you'll have your own Hangout show set up and you'll have practiced running it live. So that's available too. So without further ado, I am going to say everything is on my website. That's hangoutsforbusiness.com. You can sign up and pay for those training courses right now if you're interested. And, you know, I do hope you'll join me. But do look out for all the Hangouts that I, I'm running over the next few months because there's some very exciting things I've got in store. And, you know, it would be lovely if you were part of my audience. So thanks ever so much for joining me today. Uh, until next time, bye for now. Thanks very much, guests, as well. Goodbye, Anne. <laughs> goodbye, Len. Thanks for inviting me. And goodbye, Simon. Goodbye from me. <laughs> That's great. So thanks, everyone. Bye for now. <laughs>